That's better. Good pee? Yeah, you better believe it. Hey, while I was pissing, I managed to post this dank ass meme. Okay. <laughs> wind up those Ramona snowflakes. Nor without washing your hands. Hey, I'm a man of many talents, which you'll get to find out if uh, you play cards, right? Oh, I don't know about that. I'm not much of a card player. So what was your favourite part of tonight? Oh, I couldn't possibly say. Yeah, I know it's tough, but come on. I mean, well, the five guys that I bought for us, that was fantastic. And when you listed the best places to download the latest anime, but uh, for me, the highlight had to be just now when you handed me your piss-soaked phone to show me some right-wing propaganda. All right, all right. But to be fair, girls do tell me that I plan a great first date. So. That you do, Jordan. That you do. You think of what I'm thinking? I... I probably am thinking what you're thinking, but I'm also thinking we shouldn't do what you're thinking. Oh? Yeah, I've got work tomorrow. I should be heading home. Oh, right. What do you do? We didn't really get a chance to talk about you tonight. <sighs> no, we didn't, and in retrospect, that's probably a good thing. True. It means we've got more to talk about next Wednesday when we go to the comic convention. <laughs> yeah, definitely, that thing. Yeah, stick your number in and I'll um, send you the deets. Oh, uh, just message me through the app for now. Um, my phone's not working properly. Alrighty then. I'll see you soon, Ellie. Absolutely. <laughs> see you soon. I get to the office. Please. Thank you. Please. Cheers. Bye. Tim? Hello. What are you doing here? Hank Mitchell's in town. We're going to meet him at a new site. You're, you're kidding? He's not due until the end of the week. I'm not prepared. Look, just, you work it out. Just get in the car. Oh. Look, I'd, I'd really like to stop at the office before we go. Look, you can shit at the site. How do you... No, I just need to collect some papers. <laughs> yeah. Toilet papers. Am I right, Tash? As 
you can see, Mr Mitchell. The site's coming along nicely. We're just waiting for our HSE approval to come through and then we're good to go. Well, that is just great news, little lady. <laughs> yes. This will be a really nice addition to your property portfolio with us. You got that right. I'm gonna own this goddamn city. You limeys ain't gonna know what fucking hit you. But pow! It'll be me. Head Mitchell. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Would you excuse me, Mr. Mitchell? What's up? I'm trying to send an email, but the tablet's broken down. Are you sure you're not just logged out? Well, I don't know. Uh, could you fix it? Yeah. There you go. Thanks. And uh, this is what I tap to send an email? Yeah. Right. Uh, I need to type this up and send it to HR as well. Um, do, th do you think you could do that for me? <sighs> it's just, uh, you seem to know what you're doing. It'll be a lot quicker. It's an email, Tim. I'm already babysitting this asshole. I can't wipe your nose as well. Don't call Mr. Mitchell an asshole. He generates a lot of money for us. No, I make him a lot of money. Meanwhile, I'm having tomato ketchup and mayonnaise sandwiches three nights in a row. Oh, uh, Natasha, hello. Um, could you type this up and send it to HR for me, please? Thank you so much. So you'll be stepping up your development plans now, Mr. Mitchell. That's right. Rex is going to leave this country right for the harvest. And I want in on the ground left. Uh, yes, we're uh, taking back control, as it were. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all are just precious. Uh, right. Well, uh, I hope you'll be sticking with us for your future endeavours. Damn straight. I know I can count on you, Tim. Howdy, boy. Yes, I can! <laughs> me. Huh? What's that, little lady? It's me you can count on. I've been brokering your deals for the past five years. Tim actually tried to talk me out of a few of them. Nah, that ain't right. Are you telling me that a girl has been looking after my money? Well, technically, uh, yes. Well, that is some bullshit! Well, not anymore, little lady. You're fired. What? I don't need no woman telling me what to do. Look, I'm sure you put together a fine peach color, but you ain't put another one of those pretty little fingers on my heart or don't. Mr. Mitchell, Mr. Mitchell, no! this is silly. I'm out of here, bitch. Mr. Mitchell, Mr. Mitchell, please come back! What a cock. Tim or Mitchell? Mitchell. If I meant Tim, I would have said, what a fucking cock. Oh. How did you do that for? Why didn't you just say I was handing the accounts? Are you shitting me? You do fuck all around here. I'm not having you take credit for my work. Mr. Mitchell, Mr. Mitchell, please come back. You didn't mean it. Oh, I'm going for my poo. I'm really, really sorry I said you do fuck all around here. I'm sure you do a lot more when I'm not around. I, I, I do. Okay then. What's your problem, Mitchell? My problem is I'm being yelled at by a hysterical lady when I'm trying to work out whether this is my truck. It is. I'm not hysterical, you asshole. I'm asking you why you fired me after I've looked after you for nearly five years. Look, I just feel more comfortable if my money was looked after by a man, okay? A cool, calm, rational man who ain't likely to be affected by a broken nail or time of the month. Bitches be crazy, you know. Lord knows bitches be crazy. Suck my dick. What? 
rotten tarnation? Shit. I've had a nose period. I don't feel so good. That is weird. I know, right? What did you do after that? I made like a tree and got out of there. Why'd you do that? Because I would get the blame, I know it. Oh, um, how did your date go the other night? Oh, don't fucking ask. <laughs> well, at least you can channel it into some kind of art project. I haven't done anything in months. Why not? Because I'm sick of this existence now. Between work and travelling to work, I'm out the house for like 13 or 14 hours. By the time I get home, I just want to sit and lament my life choices. That's bullshit. you got to work to live, not live to work. I'm not sure I want to work. Or live. Seriously? I don't know. I just know that... This is not what I wanted my life to be like. Well, I'm here for you. You just have to stop just existing and start living. You know, you can't be someone else's slave all the time. You've got to stop being you. You're right, Nat. You can't go on like this. I'm going to go into work tomorrow and take some time off. You know, sit back, chillax. Do I want to do, you know? No clients, no worries. I can really indulge my creativity, express myself, you know, just throw it all out there. There's nothing holding me back. I'm starting tonight. It's on, bitches. Yes, <laughs> queen. <laughs> well, that's the best it's gonna get tonight. What are you looking at? That's disgusting. What? Spitting like that. It's not considerate of other people. Well, maybe I want to give a fuck about other people. That much is clear. What the fuck does that mean? Look, dickhead, I'm not in the mood for this shit. Oh, what the oh, fuck? No! Oh, I hardly touched you. Oh, I What? No, I didn't. Well, that's not what he told me. What, did you check the CCTV? I mean, what a bastard. Ellie, he is a rich, powerful American man. Everybody knows they are the most trustworthy people on the planet. He's an asshole from Ipswich. Why the fuck does he talk like that? Ellie, I used to work in retail, and the golden rule of retail is the louder you shout, the more you get your own way. As your manager, I am duty-bound to take his word over yours. This is bullshit! Ellie, the customer is always right. You know what, Tim? I came in here thinking I was going to ask for some time off because this job is killing me. And this exchange has just confirmed that. So, fuck this job. Fuck you. I quit. <laughs> fuck me! Fuck me! Fuck you! You can have the day off, but you better be in tomorrow. Hey, Ellie, it's Jordan. Uh, you weren't answering the messages on date match, so I got a friend of mine to get into your Instagram and get your phone number. Anyway, give us a call. Oh, I've got some awesome memes to show you. Speak soon. Bye.
And there we have it. It might sound like incoherent gibberish, but it's clear to this reporter that the Prime Minister has the situation well in hand. Oh shit! <laughs> Run that by me again, Ellie. I think I'm an X-Man. An X-Man? An X-Man. Or technically an X-Woman. An X-Person? I mean, that's just silly, isn't it? Most superhero films are, though, apart from Spider-Man 2, which was really fun. Let's stay on track, Ellie. Sorry, brain's a bit fried. It's been a rough couple of days and I didn't sleep last night. Why do you think you're an X-Man? Lots of weird things have been happening around me lately. You know, people collapsing, nosebleeds and stuff. I see. Yeah. And I was watching TV last night and I was yelling at the people on the 10 o'clock news because they were all lying bastards. And I swear to God, Laura Kunzberg's head blew up. Mm, it did. I saw that too. Weird, wasn't it? No fucking shit, dog. And I'm the one responsible. What makes you say that, Ellie? I yelled at her. A lot of people were yelling at her. It's the news. If you're not yelling at the news, you're not watching it properly. But the collapsing and the nosebleeds. Just a coincidence, nothing more. I don't think so. I think I need to be supervised or locked in a lead room or something. I really don't think that's necessary, Ellie. Well, I do, Dr. Bergian. If that is, in fact, your real name. I'm a danger to myself and society. I've developed dangerous telekinetic abilities. So what are we going to do about it? OK, Ellie. I'll tell you what. If you can make this pumpkin explode, I'll give you a referral. Where to? Let's cross that bridge when we come to it. Now, concentrate. 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 I was going to make a pumpkin soup when I got home, but if this works, you'll have saved me ten minutes. Oh, this is incredibly demeaning. Who's the doctor here? This is a valid diagnosis technique, so follow my instructions. Focus on the pumpkin. Concentrate. Concentrate. Picture that pumpkin exploding into a thousand pieces. Make that happen with your mind, Ellie. You say you can do this. I want to believe you, so make it happen, Ellie. Explode that pumpkin. Carry the fuck out that pumpkin. I can't. Stay away from me. What, what do you do? We're meant to be going out. Take the hint, douchebag. Leave me alone. What? We had a great time the other night. No, we didn't, Jordan. You talked about yourself and your interests, and I didn't get a word in. And then you hack my Instagram to get my number. Get fucked, creepo. Aren't you going to look at me when I'm talking to you? I can't. Are you a fucking dyke? Yes, I'm a fucking dyke. Now fuck off.
Well, at least you can channel it into some kind of art project. This is crazy. How do you shout? All you get your own way. Well, I was messing around with the post today, Carl, for me. Well, maybe I want to give a fuck about other people. Uh, yes, we're uh, taking back control, as it were. Lord knows, bitches be crazy. Ow, Ellie, are you in now? Natasha? Oh, thank God. What's going on? Oh, I'm not having a good day. Just leave me alone. What happened at the doctor's office? Nothing of significant note? Yeah, because fucking exploding heads is a normal everyday occurrence. Even if something did happen, which I'm not saying it did, how do you know about it? Oh shit! Are you okay? Let me in and we can talk about it. No, I'm fine. Just leave me alone. Ellie, something's going on and I want to help. Is she fucking in there? Ellie, Ellie, look, where were you today? Tim? What the fuck are you doing? I said I fucking quit. Look, nobody quits. Not on this team. What team? You do absolutely nothing. You turn it all onto us and then claim all the credit. You can't even open your fucking emails. Right, look, that's not a team attitude. I need you up and at them and on the phone to the Singapore office right now. Tim, take your shitty job and shove it up your... Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Me. They're just gonna lock me up in a lead box and drop me in the fucking ocean or fire me out into space. Ellie Thomas. Get out of the way, woman. Suffering suck attach. I'm carrying a pie here. Sorry, I just... Clumsy as fuck? Yeah, I noticed. 
Your head should be exploding right about now. Well, it was a shock, I grant you, but I've seen enough weird shit delivering pizza that running into some clumsy street douche isn't really a surprise to me. I'm a clumsy douche. Why are you wearing sunglasses? It's the middle of the night. It's part of the uniform. Cool's pizza, see? Sunglasses? We're not making eye contact. That's why your head's not exploding. Hey, lady. That's great. You wouldn't happen to be IP freely, would you? Really, dude? Really what? Never mind. You wouldn't happen to have a spare pair of those, would you? These are prescription. The company wouldn't even pay for them. I had to get them myself. Hmm. Mm. So you're not IP freely? I think they live that way. Oh, sweet. Cheers. Yoink! God damn it, woman, I told you, that prescription, I need them to see! Jesus, fuck. What are you doing here? I just... I want to know what your problem is. What? We met. We got on well. I took you out for a meal, you paid. And ever since then, you've been blowing me off. And not in the way that I'd like. So I just want to know, Ellie, what I did wrong. You're a waste of space, Jordan. Oh, I play video games and I make memes and I vote for Brexit and I'm an edgelord. No, you're a cockend. We're taking back control. I'm taking back control and telling you to fuck off out my flat and out my life. Take you out. So, I've explained the situation to them, that something's happening and you can't control it. And what do they say to that? I mean, they think I'm talking shit, but they'll understand shortly if you come and back me up. Okay. 
Give me a minute. I don't think I can do this. Haven't you got any care -ics? I mean, I don't think I can hand myself over to a lifetime of testing and experimenting. They're gonna help you, Ellie. I mean, I'm gonna be your lab rat. Or some government-sponsored assassin or something. That's not gonna happen. Look, the government wouldn't intentionally mislead you into doing something bad. I don't think I can go through with this. Look, you can. You know why? Because you're the strongest person I know. You've been through all this shit and you're still here fighting. You're a warrior, Ellie. Yeah, right. Look, you work a soul-killing job and you still manage to stay creative throughout all of this. All of this horror. And you rebuffed a cyber stalker guy. You're right. Yeah, if they don't like it, I can just blow their heads off. I mean, that might not be the ideal strategy, but keep it in your back pocket if you need to. I'm a warrior. Yes, say it again. I'm a warrior. Louder. I'm a warrior. Fuck, yes, you are queen. Say it again, look in the mirror and tell yourself you're gonna get through this. I. Ellie.